and creativity with Monique. So today I'm in my kitchen, I'm making spaghetti and meatballs. And this is about um, five pounds of ground beef. I have some homemade um, breadcrumbs. I got eggs and I have all of my seasonings here. I have garlic and onion powder and I use a little bit of um, Creole seasoning. So that's what I'll be using today. And I also have um, bell peppers and onions that I will be chopping up in my little, little food processor here. Alright, so I have to use my blender to chop up the um, my bell pepper and onion because something is going on with the chopper. But I got it done anyway, so I like for my bell pepper and onion to be kind of like puree. Alright, so I'm just going to put my onions and um, pepper right into my meat. All right, so I guess this can be a good opportunity to um, just kind of tell you guys a little bit about myself. Just a small little story here and there. I'm thinking about four eggs in here. I think I'll do about four eggs. All right, so um, my name is Monique and I was um, born and raised in um, Mississippi. Been here all my life. Um, a lot of you may not know, I never mentioned that a little bit about my background, you know, did I ever have a job, did I work, and yes, um, yes, I did work, um, so I would say maybe after high school, um, my first job was working at a Hudson's Savage Center, and that's like a store, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Ollie's, or like any kind of savage store but um that was my first job and i didn't work there long i wound up getting hired at um popeyes was my next job so i worked at um popeyes i would say about nine months and um, then shortly after Popeyes, I worked at a retirement home and I worked there for about six months. So I don't have a very, very good, um, I guess, you know, where I stayed on the job that long because I just kind of, you know, just, you know, move from one thing to the next. So um, after the retirement home, I um, decided to go to a trade school. And I'm not for sure if you guys are familiar with a trade or a career college called um, Antonella College. They have uh, several programs. Uh, they have, you know, of course, they got your medical programs such as um, medical building and coding and medical assisting, like computer science classes, business and management. But they, um, they um, had a lot of, uh, you know, career options. I first started Antonella. There was around um, 2010 and I wound up taking medical assisting. Um, since I was younger I always had like an interest in wanting to be like a nurse, you know, work in a nursing field or, or you know, be in a medical field. I did that for two years and in the midst of me going to that school, that's how I met my husband. So my husband went to uh, the same college as well. We was friends for some years, so um, so we weren't like 
in direct contact like that until some years later. So, um, but yeah. So, I would say the blessing that came out of go, um, going to school for medical assisting, yes, uh, I finished the program. Um, I did two years, so I went from two, um, 2010 to 20, uh, 2012. And I got certified, got my certification, so I was, you know, ready to work in uh, that field. And, and anybody that may uh, be familiar with what roles uh, medical assistants do, uh, you pretty much is, uh, you, you're the doctor's, you know, right hand or, or the physician's right hand person. You know, so you get the patient's uh, ready for exams. You, um, some of us draw blood. We uh, run labs. Um, we prepare exam room. We do the vital, your vital signs. Medical assistants uh, can do a wide range of things um, in a medical setting, and you can work in different um, types of practices. So. Um, I did um, wind up getting a job um, at a clinic. I was there from 2000, yeah, 2015 to uh, 2020, and um, and I enjoyed working where I was and everything. Uh, what was the reason why I left? Well, I left uh, because um, during 2020 all the children um, were virtual, you know, had to do, um, you know, school on the computer and everything. And me and my husband pretty much, we worked the same shift, which was like eight to five. So one of us had to be at home with the children. I would say that that would be a reason why um, I had to leave that job. Um, during the years, I had to, you know, I continued to um, keep my certification up for medical system because, you know, you never know when you may need them when you may want to um, go back into that field of, you know, working um, again. But um, so after 2020, after the uh, medical assistant job I um, I didn't work until November yes I got I had applied for a work at home job and I never um, had a work at home job before patients and y'all don't know what I was doing I'm making my meatballs but I never had a work at home job before and you know I'm totally green and it's totally new but uh, they was, you know, providing training for it. So I applied for it and went for it. So uh, I started that job November of 2021. And the job is I was working for a electric utility company. <laughs> and, you know, just being a customer service representative. And I thought that, you know, it was going to be okay, you know, working as a customer service representative for a utility company, but my, was I wrong? <laughs> um, I would say probably after my first three months, I wanted to quit like every day. <laughs> um, and I know it's, it's expected when you, uh, when you're, a customer service representative. I'm pretty sure maybe some of you had uh, some experiences with uh, being a customer service representative. But um, some people can handle it and some people can't. And I'm one of them. You know, I had some, you know, okay experiences. You know, some people, um, they didn't yell or cuss at me or anything like that about their bill. And, and there was times when I got yelled at and cussed at um, over, you know, someone, you know, utility got cut off or, you know, why my bill so high, you know, and, 
and I just be sitting there like trying to hold my tongue because I'm like, you know, I'm trying not to bad mouth anybody because I can't, you know. And, you know, like you just sitting there, like it's almost like you sitting there just taking the punches, you know, people, you know, yelling at you, blaming you, you know, like you the one bill them their bill and you the one causing for their bill to be like super high. So, you know, that was just kind of hard for me to um, keep that job because it's like, you know, in my mind, I'm like, look, I'm in the same boat with y'all. Like, I got bills up to my neck too. And, you know, and I, look, I got the same question too. I want to, you know, ask somebody why my bill so high. Like, I'm trying to, um, you know, I'm trying to be understanding and, and things of that nature. And I, you know, um, provided like other options and you know um and you know help to the customer but um i did that job um for a year and um uh, i i quit that job in december of 20 december of 2022 um after my last job i just been at home mostly and i keep myself busy with gardening um you know, just cleaning up and uh, helping out, you know, with the, you know, yard work and everything. So I just try to um, just keep myself busy, basically. Um, will I return back for work? Um, I would say pretty soon I will, um, you know, return back to work. I'm not for sure if it'll be this year or next year, but yes, I do plan on, um, you know, returning back to work if um, there is like not any other option, you know, for me out there, you know, then yes. All right, so I'm gonna, um, I got some meatballs that I need to fry up. I'm gonna put these in the skillet and And I'm not going to cook these fully done. I just want these to brown a little bit so that they won't tear apart when I put them in sauce. Halfway through the cooking process, I got my pot, which is all going to be um, putting my spaghetti, well, my homemade spaghetti sauce in here. And the meatballs, I'm just going to pour that spaghetti sauce on top of these meatballs. And I'll show you guys how all of that will come out. I'm trying to drain off that oil. Right, so I got a couple more meatballs to fry, and I'll bring you guys back. So the sauce that I will be using will be my very own tomato sauce, and I made this in March. So I'll be adding this to the pot here. And I'm going to pour it right in.
All right, so this is the meatballs inside of the sauce. And I have on a pot of water um, so that I can go ahead and start my noodles. The good thing about having foil on my gas range is um, I don't have to worry about this being cooked on my stove top. And with the aluminum foil, if you catch the um, spillovers while it's still wet, it is a very easy cleanup. So I'm just gonna take a rag and I'm just gonna wipe it off and that way I can um, just continue to use it and um, it's some tomato sauce that spilled underneath there as well but I can't do anything about that until I'm done cooking see all clean Well, everything is done and we are about to eat so this will be the end of this vlog I thank you guys for tuning in and watching and I hope you guys enjoyed me talking a little bit about my work history and what I used to do and also enjoyed the cooking um, vlog as well I hope you guys have a very blessed and great day. And I hope you guys return again for another video. I will see you guys soon. God bless.